Hello, everyone. My name is Felicia Capone, and I'm the Marketing Manager for Pills Automation Safety, and I'd like to welcome you all to this training. Today, we'll be covering the Pills FDD Safety Device Diagnostic System, and our presentation will be given by one of our senior sales engineers, Jim Holson. As a reminder, this is a 13, as this is part 13 of a 14 part series of trainings we're conducting on pills, products, and services, as well as some coverage of general safety standards and practices. I hope you'll all plan on joining us for the full series of these trainings, and I hope that they'll prove to be valuable to you in learning more about machine safety and how pills can help you achieve your overall machine safety goals. Should we experience any technical difficulties during this presentation? I'll simply restart the meeting and you can all rejoin at which time Jim will pick up where he left off and complete the training from there. And with that, I'll hand it over to Jim Holson to begin the presentation. Jim? Thank you, Felicia. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Jim Polson, Senior Sales Engineer for Pills Automation Safety. I handle the Mid-Atlantic States. And like Felicia says, today's presentation is on the Safety Device Diagnostics, or SDD, module. As stated in the product name, SDD is a low-cost module that works with a range of pill safety relays and controllers. It obtains safety diagnostics from serially wired safety devices and provides cost savings through enhanced troubleshooting and by using quick connect cabling. In today's presentation, we will go over the SDD product features, benefits, and then give some application examples. So if you've attended any of our other sessions, you know that we'd like to remind you that PILS offers a wide array of safety products and services. In this particular slide, there are 12 PILS products shown, from gate switches to door interlocks to light curtains. But what you don't see is the SDD which resides in a panel somewhere where it collects data from these devices unseen. Uh, on the PILS website, you will find the SDD under Network section, where it is the only product offered under the Device Diagnostic page. In this illustration, you see an SDD module on the top left. To its right is a multi-safety controller. This is a powerful safety controller, but at a lower cost, a standalone PILS PNOS relay could also be used here, depending on your application. The multi and SDD connect to a slimline coded switch and a pair of small profile coded switches. They're connected through a serial connection that utilizes IP67 Y junction connectors here and here and use the standard M12 cabling. This results in a tremendous wiring cost savings. To illustrate this, a system can support up to 16 sensors. Each sensor would have eight wires. That means in a system with 16 sensors, there would be 128 individual connections that would have to be routed back to the main panel and wired to individual terminal blocks. M12 cabling instead would just mean using 16 quick connect M12 cables. Sensor status can be obtained on the device itself, the sensor itself, or read from the display on the SDD, or from third party devices connected on the network. Six configurable general purpose IO are available. The use of these are highlighted in one of the examples later. Some more details. Automated, automatic activation of safety devices means that all you must do is plug in the devices into a serial network. The SDD will find them and will immediately start collecting device information and status. Device status updates in under a second. Please note that this is not safety relevant and safety update speeds are determined by the safety relay or controller selected. The first bullet point here summarizes the SDD benefits, and this should be the main takeaway from the presentation. As illustrated earlier, 
Standard M12 cabling saves wiring labor time. Better diagnostics saves time by reducing time spent troubleshooting. In the case of a user account, for example, this could mean getting a line that's down back up and running quicker. Downtime costs, as you know, are quite expensive in a modern factory. For another example, with a OEM or system integrator, better troubleshooting could mean, for example, getting through a factory acceptance test in a day instead of two days. At a small integrator, typically two to four engineering and technician resources are scheduled to participate in a factory acceptance test. At $1,000 per resource per day, cutting off a day from a factory acceptance test would mean $2,000 to $4,000 in savings in this example. In either example, the savings quickly pays for itself for the low cost of the SDD module, meaning it truly does pay for itself. Finally, highlighting the last bullet point here, the SDD can communicate to third-party PLCs using these listed protocols. Using the PLC protocols, we can transmit diagnostic and status data to a PLC or an HMI. Those data types can provide information on the device itself, the operating status, the history of any previous status messages, and any current issue that is causing the safety device not to operate properly. Listed here is the specific information obtainable through the system divided into device information and event information. What device is it? What is the current operating status? What are the status of the safety outputs and inputs? Are there wiring errors? Is the safety device faulty? Ordering information in a catalog is very simple. All you have to do is select which protocol for communications that you would like to use. As mentioned earlier, an STD system consists of an STD module, safety evaluation relay or controller, and compatible safety products, some of which I have illustrated here. You see three versions of PILS coded switches starting with the large profile design on the top left, which is a large sensor suitable for use with multiple actuators that will allow you to approach from four directions. Below that is a compact design, which is the smallest profile coded switch on the market. In the middle is a slimline design which offers more mounting options, as well as a version that provides three, sorry, 30 newtons magnetic holding force. And then on the far right is an M-lock switch, which provides safe interlocking and safe guard locking in a single unit. While the majority of our SDD systems utilize M12 quick connect cabling, for those situations where you need to hardwire either pills or third-party sensors for inclusion in a system, PILS offers the PSEN IX2 family of interfaces. Here, the PSEN IX2 F4 is shown, which can connect up to four sensors. And then there is the PSEN IX2 F8, which can accommodate up to eight, eight wire sensors. Most systems, however, will use the low-cost IP67 wide junction connector shown here in the middle, connected to a slimline coated switch. Used with a low-cost PNAS S relay, the result is the most economical diagnostic system available in the marketplace. The illustration here shows an SDD multi-application featuring three M-locks and a coded switch in series. The key point to bring out about having an M-lock application within a SDD system 
is that individual specific gates can be commanded to open or close from a PLC, HMI, or push button, even though they are connected in a serial network. This is a very high degree of sophistication available in a very economically cost system. So we've looked at similar illustrations already. The key point here is that the STD supports either M8 or M12 cabling. And a final example here illustrates an example of the family of pill safety products being used for a complete safety system in a manufacturing cell. From the top right, pills, PSIN code safety door switches. Below that, the IP67 junctions and cabling, then the STD module, and PNAS evaluation relays. On the left, it shows an e-stop. Now, this would be an example where the status output of the e-stop could be wired into the configurable I.O. of the STD to provide diagnostics on e-stop status. And then finally, above the e-stop is a PILS PMI HMI, where the entire machine can be seen at a glance. And that's it for the STD presentation. I hope you found it valuable. Please reach out to me if you have any questions, and I will turn it over to Felicia now. Thanks, Jim. Um, again, if you have any questions or comments about today's or any of our webinars, please let us know. Uh, you can email at us at insidesales at pillsusa.com, or you can give us a call at 734-354-0272. Our, this um, webinar will be posted on our YouTube channel in about a day, so please feel free to, to follow up and review it again if you want, and follow us on social media for all of our updates as well. Thank you again for attending, and we'll see you on Thursday for our next one. Thank you.